Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to Paping. It's next to the monastery where I live. Um, it's I think one hour five away from uh, Kathmandu and it's a little village or a little... no it's not a village, it's a little city and right up there is the monastery where I live and over there is Popping. It's just a 20-25 minutes walk through these beautiful rice fields here and we will meet my good friend and barber because we go to, with him to Tachinkali, I think it's called. It's a very famous Hindu temple and it's not far away from Popping, it's just 10 minute bike drive and then we are invited from his family that we have lunch together at his home. So yeah, today you will see a little bit of popping and the famous temple touching Kali. I hope it's, I say it right, they will ask again uh, how is it called correctly. And yeah, also a little bit of popping, local home and lunch and the temple. Yeah, and today is a really beautiful day, guys. It's like summer here, but I have a hoodie because I know Nepali weather is tricky. It can be so nice and a few minutes later it's completely rain and storm. So, I'm smart now. Now I know a little bit how it's working here. But yeah, really beautiful day, I can say. Like, and I love these rice fields. Like, I really, really love. That's one of the coolest thing in Asia, the rice fields. You know, guys, like in Europe, we just have some flat fields, it's so boring, but here it's like doop, 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 like these steps. So I really really love it. Like it's so beautiful to go through these rice fields. Like look at this. I mean at the moment it's not rice, it's like grain, because it's winter time. But it's so beautiful to see. And you just can go <laughs> through these fields to the other village. And this is the monastery up there where I live since a few months. And yeah also back there when you watched my really fast youtube video this is the big hanging bridge maybe you can see it i'm not sure and this is a really cool place in the morning you can see monkeys and parrots and yeah and also here a lot of temples in this area because this on this hill uh, there are really famous caves and they told me like there was a guru a few hundred years ago and he was so aware that he let uh, a footprint, a handprint and the print of his forehead in the rock. And it's crazy because you can really see like the forms or the form of the hand and the, the footprint and everything. It's really crazy and so it's a really holy place for them. And also there's like a big Buddha not far from here. It's like 30, 40 meters high. And so they are really like 10 to 15 monasteries around here for women and men also yeah it's a cool area and look how beautiful wow we are in Papping this is Papping this is the football field and this is a little baby goat oh hello baby goat hello hello what's up oh the mother is coming oh, yeah. mother don't like us Okay, but the chill, you just make your baby gods famous on YouTube. Meh, okay. Like this is popping, this is the soccer place from popping. Up there are the famous caves on the hill. Nepali streets. I have to say I traveled a lot of countries, but the streets in Nepal are the worst I've ever seen. Best people here, but the worst streets. Yeah, and this is Popping, I think it's the, the shopping road and where all the restaurants are and so on. And this shop I buy all the time fruits and vegetables. And I meet my friend up there in the barber shop. And then we hiding to his bike and went to Tashinkali, I think it's called. Tachink, Tachink, Dachink? I don't know. We will see. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Now it's really relaxed. I think all the people have lunch time, so nobody is out. Here you can see like that Buddha. It's a Buddha statue. And up there is a nice coffee where I have often breakfast and lunch. 
when I want some different than the monastery. But I have to say it's not the best service, they are super super slow. Or so slow that also the monks were pissed once. So yeah, it's really slow. But we arrived at my friend's house. Oh, not my friend's house, my friend's barber shop. Oh, this is the barber shop. Oh, namaste, brother. Hello, hello. You're waiting, huh? Hello, brother. Hello. Just be waiting, yes? Okay, no problem. So now we're just waiting a little bit there because he has a customer and then we we go so now my friend is finished with work i got the lollipop from his father because this is also his shop and this shop and there he is <laughs> huh you can tell your name maybe you get my name is Diros Tagor. beautiful nepali girl maybe is calling no he has a girlfriend <laughs> There's a girlfriend, so no calling, okay? Okay. And now we go with him okay. to the temple. What is it called again? Dachinkali Temple. Dachinkali Temple, okay. I said it right before. <laughs> I was not sure if I said it right, but... Okay, let's go. Let's go, brother. So, do you think it's good? Yes. Like? Yes, it's cool to be people as possible, huh? Yes. Nepali style. And Europe? When you drive with three people on your bike, license gone. <laughs> Nepal, it's normal. You can also do four people. Three people is normal, four people is okay. Five people, also possible. But it's more tricky. I just call this Nepali style. Yeah, it works, and it's quiet. That's the gangster mobile. <laughs> Our taxi. <laughs> Damn it. So look, three people on the no problem, it's Nepali style. I know that's another thing, I don't understand the uh, Nepali law, because just one person, the driver has to wear a helmet. I know it's smart that everybody wears a helmet, but there is no. So we do the YOLO thing, you know. But he's a pretty serious, but he's a good driver. Only subscribe. Only yes, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, guys. Oh, it's police, huh? Oh, look, police don't care. It's Nepal. The famous Hindu temple. So also a lot of people from India coming here to the Chinkali. Yeah, but today it's like Sunday, so it's Monday in Nepal because Saturday is like Sunday. So yesterday it was really crowded, a lot of people here, but today not. Today it's more chill. But anyways, you know when there are a lot of people, my man knows everybody, so we get like everywhere in front of the line, in front of the crowd. So it's cool. But today no, no people, huh? Now you're buying offerings, huh? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> you guys like street food and everything and up there? Uh, down there is the temple. And today we have a really good day, like it's Sunday, and so it's much more relaxed. Like the other days, it's really crowded. Okay. Do we got it for free again? What? Do we got it for free again? Yes. No, no, no. no. Oh, it's your business also. <laughs> oh, look, this guy is smart. They have barber shop, <laughs> supermarket little one here on the temple shop. Now, like he's saying, uh, the temple is closed. Oh, we have to wait 30 minutes. So first we go up there, okay? Okay, but here is open under there. No, no, we, we can't go inside. You can't go. Yeah, because uh, the main puja is been happening there. But here, under there also, or no? No, no, no. Not inside. <coughs> Doors are closed. Oh. So, but guys, we have, minutes we have to wait. We have to wait a little bit. 
Let goes this like in Pucha. And yeah, but here you have look on the temple. And the important thing, you don't um, put your finger on something because okay. it's no good idea. You told me last time because I make okay. all this, 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 put your finger okay, down. Okay, okay. <laughs> The dog escalates. The good thing is he knows everybody here. He knows all the ways. So it's pretty cool to do something with him. And normally hundreds of people are staying up the whole stairs. Like Yesterday I came here, people from their line. Whoa. So hundreds of people, huh? Yes. Yeah, and down there is like the main temple. What is it called? Like down there. What, what is this down there? That's in Gali Temple. Yes, yes. Like there is the offering and everything. Huh? Yes. Yeah. But now you can see they are cleaning the temple a little bit. So we have to wait. Here you can see a little bit how the temple looks like. It's really beautiful. When I was here the last time, there was a line all over there, but my men knew the people. And so we went in there and came out there and no waiting. Doda is uh, closed because they're cleaning and they open in 30 minutes, something like that. We go first to the other temple, to the mother temple, to Mother Shiva temple. And it's up there, the, the, the stairs. Steps or stairs? No stairs? Stairs. Um, and yeah, watch first the, the Shiva main temple for the mother. Okay. Oh, look at this monster chicken. What the fuck? Look at this thing. Man, you're an anabolica. It's an anabolica chicken. Crazy. Drop word. What? He said, like, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> These babas. <laughs> Baba is in coma. Yes, too much smoking, huh? Yes. Too much smoking hush. Like because here, in the temples, the babas, they are allowed to smoke weed and hush because it's a part of the culture. So because they believe that Shiva, that cannabis, and ganja was the, the plant of Shiva, and so they are allowed to smoke. Normally it's illegal in Nepal, but it's not illegal. Yes. But it is illegal. It's like Nepali style law, you know? It's like... You don't know. <laughs> what they do? Yes. So this is the main... Guys, I was not allowed to film inside the temple um, but we got like the blessing the ticker and these flowers were blessed so we did now then you bad brother and yeah now we're looking if the huh free time yeah now we have to go three times around the temple so it's always the law of three it's interesting we in every religion and also in science how three the number three is important also it's like here, all the temples, free to go three times around, you make three times blessing. So my friends said, there are chicken inside the temple, and the chicken just waiting to, for offering. <laughs> Not long life chicken. <laughs> it's really short life chicken. Wow, but that looks so cool with the fire. in the temple. Now Pucha is finished and I think the people are waiting already to come in. A lot of people. <coughs> now also now there's a monkey. And the monkey always also wanted to visit. <coughs> that blood, blood had to be there. Oh, blood. so there yeah, there's a chicken offering. Yeah. And then the blood goes into the yeah. swing. Yeah. So we're inside the main uh, temple. 
it's not allowed to film. No, I think here it's allowed. I don't know. Oh, and here they do the chicken offer. Like here the blood is flowing. It's crazy. This is the Mado temple that we're in. We already get the blessing and everything. Uh, beautiful temple. So we get the blessing, the offering. And my man did like local Nepalese style. Vordrängen. <laughs> we, just, we just used the, the worker entrance <laughs> and go in front of the line for, for I don't know, maybe 100, 200 people. It's Nepali style, it's okay. Passing an offering and now it's time to make a wish with the innocents. <laughs> like, you know, my man, as always, we make the other entrance because when not, we have to stand a long line. But here, come, we go the other entrance where for the workers. Now we are finished with the temple Tachinkali. Huh? Yes, that's again. Tachinkali. And now we get the blessing, we make our wishes and so on. Now I think we catch something to eat in Puffing. And yeah, it's really beautiful. Temple. Look at all the people standing in the line now. Normally the people are staying all the way up in the line when he has a special holiday or something. So but with my man, we have always better <laughs> conditions. Like the center. No, we arrived at the restaurant and now we eat something. Namaste. So guys, now I'm back at the monastery. Um, I hope you liked this little vlog about popping and Doshinkali with my local friend. And yeah, subscribe, activate the bell and I'll see you the next time. Bye.